thanks for joining my channel if this is your first time welcome as you can see i'm very love day inspired with this eye look but i wanted to do a quick tutorial on the face that i'm going to match with the eye because i'm going to be using a new foundation today i've been wanting to try like new products in general um and so i just figured why not um when i was shopping for foundation because i was out of my um go-to maybelline fit me um, and I, what I use to glam is a little mixture either between Maybelline Fit Me and Huda, or just Huda by itself. Um, but to my like, to work all week, I'll just use Maybelline Fit Me because I feel like Huda is truly like full coverage glam, and Maybelline Fit Me can be full coverage. Just depends on how you work with it. So I was figuring, you know, since it is like for my everyday look, I'm gonna figure out multiple foundations that work for me because um, we never know if they'll stop selling something right so I um, tried out or picked up L'Oreal True Match I've never used L'Oreal so I'm excited to see how it does um, I will do my normal routine of how I do my face and I'll check in a little later on how it actually you know went and how it did so I grabbed the shade W9.5 because it seemed the closest to my my shade which is like deep warm um, and that's literally what the literally what the name of it says deep warm so so with the packaging one thing I will say it's very simple. It's um, a one ounce bottle. It just has a screw top with a no type of pump or nothing. My Huda Beauty has a pump, so I love it. Um, but Maybelline Fit Me doesn't, so I'm, I'm used to like not having a pump. But this is way less thick and creamy. Like I um, just almost poured it all out when I was just tipping it all oh, guys I got it way too dark it's okay though I can always fix this we can always really fix if like the color is too deep but it's definitely full coverage Jeez. wow way too dark okay so I know next time I need to get a different shade pretty lightweight like I said it's not as thick and creamy so it's more like liquidy and lightweight which is okay let's just hope it doesn't like slide off or if I get oily in my t-zone I don't want it to like you know obviously be super transferable which we know is never good so I'm gonna highlight with the color fawn and I'm gonna use it to sort of correct how dark this is so I will go a little bit um, a little bit wider than my normal highlight regions. Normally I would keep it in close to highlight. Like these triangles would only come like right here. I wouldn't normally go that long on my Chin. and my forehead fan wouldn't be this big now as you can see it sort of evened out the color with that much of a highlight and then I'll control the highlight to the regions that I want by contouring. Well, it blended really well with my highlight, which I am very thankful for because highlight and contour is a must for me. Um, now let's move on to contour. I really like it. It feels like I'm getting all the full coverage that I need. It's lightweight, it's not as thick. 
Um, and it still looks very skin-like and like full coverage glam. So, so far, I'm, I'm liking what I see. Um, let's contour really quick. Let me grab I'm gonna use Dark Cocoa by LA Girl. I honestly don't need much of contour because the the foundation I bought was like dark. So I'm already looking real bronzy. To get that real pop of highlight and because I look super tan because the foundation was dark, I'm going to go a, a shade lighter and do the extra um, pop highlight when I want that full, full glam look um, by using like one shade lighter in my highlight color and just very little of that. All right, and now let's set this. All right, so I can complete it my face. I'm baking right now. While we wait for that to bake, I went ahead and finished my bottom lash line. Now I'm gonna add a little blush and powder contour. Um, I'm gonna use the blush Maybelline Fit Me has in the color, it just says, uh, berry, berry bay, or just maybe berry. Don't want very, very much. And I'll add my Maybelline Fit Me powder contour in the shade Mocha. We should be able to dust off. Let's add our highlights. Can you guys see the eye look? Can you see the heart? I have to make this heart bigger. This heart stayed the same size. But they're so cute. I love it. I'm gonna use Fire and Stunner from the Tarte Pro Glow palette. I'm gonna spray with Fix Plus. Hopefully not all my hair I just straightened. All right, and that's our final look. I love the foundation so far. Um, I'll definitely try my best to check in um, on how the foundation did after a couple hours of wear. I do think I'll be at least out for another eight hours, so I will update the description down below on how it actually you know, wore and um, if it was transferable, if it was the same amount, if it was less than, that sort of thing. Again, I think it looks very skin-like. It's very much more lightweight and, and the application was very more like, I wanna say 
I don't know the ins and outs of how foundation is made yet, but I do know like it seemed more like water based or more like watery, honestly. And I even shook it up. So, but usually with like watery stuff, you don't get the pigmentation out of it. And I can say it is full, full coverage without even having to be built up or layered. As you saw, I slapped it on, recognized it was too dark. So the only thing that I did do was add a little bit more highlight um, with my concealer than usual, but that was about it. So all in all, I think it's gonna be pretty great. Um, I suggest you try it out. Um, again, if you have any new foundations or drugstore foundations that you love, leave them in the comment section below. And if you have any foundations that you suggest that I should try, leave them in the comment section below. I want to expand more about what I use on a daily. I know there's great things out there. So I'd appreciate it. Thanks for watching.